What's up everyone, James Lynch here doing a quick video on how to record video interviews using StreamYard. If you're just starting to do video interviews, I recommend using StreamYard. It's probably one of the easiest interfaces to use. And we'll go through some of the basic ways you can record interviews. And then I'm also gonna show you a more advanced technique that I think can make your interviews look even better. So stay for that at the end and I will have timestamps in the description. But before we get into it, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you like the video and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so we've gone to StreamYard.com. Basically, if you wanna get started, you just have to click the get started button. You sign in with your email or you put your email in there it'll send you a code and then you're ready to get started and once we get into StreamYard that's where you now have an opportunity to do a bunch of different things the first thing we start with is destinations uh, you have a whole bunch of different destinations that you can go to whether it's a Facebook page LinkedIn page YouTube channel Twitter uh, for the purposes of this we're gonna stick with YouTube uh, if you want to stream directly there and let's say you want to use this and you want to edit the video you can still stream it to YouTube and just download the video and edit it offline so that's another big option you can do here as well but uh, today we're gonna be focusing on just editing this as if you're gonna do this as an interview we're gonna start here at broadcast we're gonna go create a broadcast and we're gonna go new broadcast here we're gonna click to just one of my channels Lynch MMA we're gonna click test and you have the option of doing you know putting in your description putting in all your metadata ahead of time which is really nice and then you can also um, you know set it to public set up to private and you can schedule it for later you can add a thumbnail you can do all types of different things for the purpose of this test we're just gonna put this to private I don't want anyone to see this and we're gonna go create broadcast so when I get in here you'll see I already have uh, everything all set up but you basically just go in here click your cam and mic so I've got my Sony a6000 camera my, my good camera that's that's what's lined up there uh, just selected there but I also can have the option of using my backup camera I've also got my audio source which is my chat mic that's all good to go there that's pretty much what you do for the audio you can add a green screen if you want to the background I don't personally like losing those they don't look very well but that's the basic setup here so we're gonna just stick with my camera stick with my audio source and we're gonna get right into the chat here so if you have the basic option of um, StreamYard, you're gonna see this little bird in the corner. I don't have that because I actually have a StreamYard plan, but typically that's what you'll see, but you'll see my video sources here. And now you can see me on camera and everything's good to go. And then all you gotta do if you wanna get your guest in there is you just click the invite link. Actually, I should take a step back here uh, just for a second. Um, let me just show you. If you wanna invite your guest, you just click invite guests. It's gonna give you this code. And all you have to do is send this uh, link to anyone that you're interviewing. And they can do it on their phone. They can do it on their computer. It doesn't matter. That's one of the really convenient things about this there's no software installed so that takes a huge um, you know sort of headache out for anyone that you're looking to interview and that's why I think uh, like I said StreamYard's the easiest thing to use as far as um, you know doing video interviews so copy that to clipboard so for the purposes of this test I've emailed the link to myself and I'm gonna go in here I'm gonna grab the link so I can join the stream and you'll see there on the bottom uh, you'll see my sources coming up on the screen here so we're gonna add me in just to this just to show you guys and there you and there go. You go. We, are we are good to go. To go. Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully there's, there's no feedback, feedback here. here. So unfortunately, there was feedback, so I'm dubbing this over. But basically, what I was saying is you go to your top right corner, you click go live, and that's going to stream the video privately, and we can go download it after. I'll explain that in a second. But I'm also showing you here how you're able to resize the video for your guests. You can go split screen. You can go one guest bigger than the other. You can go full screen. There's a lot of really good options there as well. And then I also show you how you share your screen. So if you want to view an article or video, it's very easy to do it. A click of a button if you go down to the share tab underneath here. So after you're done your interview, you're gonna click end broadcast. You're gonna to wanna to go out of the menu and you're gonna to wanna to go to pass broadcast here. And then you're gonna to go to the download button. You can download either the video and the audio or just the audio only. It's a really great option. And again, you can edit this offline if you need to edit your interview. There's some other tools here as well that I'll mention here quickly. And again, you have to pay for, I'm, I'm on the basic plan right now, which is I think $20 US a month. Uh, with that, I can add uh, you know different things. I can add different texts. I can uh, make my, uh, you know if I'm doing a live stream, I can have my guests uh, you know comments uh, you know sort of show up there I can add different overlays I can do a countdown video here if I want to um, there, there's all types of things so it's like I said for as far as something to do like an easy quick video interview this is as pretty pretty much as good as it gets uh, in terms of what you're able to do so uh, again there's a lot of pluses to it the thing I don't like though is the fact that you have to pay for it I mean I understand it they got to make money but there are free options out there uh, like if you've seen my video with OBS that's a free method you can use as well they also have a private chat so if your guests on here you can talk to them without them seeing it and if you go on YouTube you can uh, obviously chat with your guests there as well so a lot of pluses to StreamYard I know I'm going over this pretty quickly but this isn't really about the live extreme experience about it it's more about how to record interviews so uh, if we go in here um, you know if I'm gonna leave the studio right now 
and you go in here and you go to my account. Uh, this shows you the uh, the billing, you know, account settings. And uh, if you wanna go to the different plans. So the free plan gets you StreamYard branding in your streams, streaming streaming limits, six on-screen participants, the basic plan for 20 bucks a month, which is what I have, uh, no StreamYard branding, unlimited streaming, uh, logos, everything else. And the professional plan, this is one where you can uh, actually, uh, you know, have 1080p quality, like top-notch quality, uh, it says there. So that's a big plus. And, the only issue though, is that works out to about 480 US a year. So that stuff really adds up. So yeah, I mean, if you have the money, go for it. You don't have to do much in terms of editing or anything like that, but uh, there, there's some different options there. So that's sort of the basic way to record interviews through StreamYard. Here's a little trick I like using, and this avoids you having to pay for the full StreamYard plan. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna create a broadcast. I'm gonna do a new broadcast and we're gonna do, gonna do another test again. So now you see I'm in StreamYard and I'm gonna be switching my camera from my cam link to my Logitech Brio, which is my secondary camera. This is the key thing you gotta do before you do this little trick here. And again, the audio can be the same, it's all good. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go and use my regular camera here and you'll see on screen that I'm using my really good camera. So what you do now is you go into the stream. So we've got three cameras running. We've got, or sorry, two cameras. We've got my main camera here and we've got the one that's on the stream here. Now, here's the trick is that if I bring my guest in now, which I'll bring myself in, I'm dubbing this again just because of the audio feedback, but basically I'm bringing my guest feed in and then what I do is I make my guest full screen and I record my end and I record my guest end. So you're getting two different feeds. And the benefit here is you're recording your feed in 1080p. You don't have to worry about anything and you're recording your guest in probably close to 720p, but it still looks decent, but at least your end looks great. And this avoids you having to upgrade to the premium service for StreamYard. So now what you can do after the fact is download your recording and you've already got your other recording with the camera and you're just gonna pull both into Premiere or one of your editing softwares. So now just as an example, I bring in my regular source video here that looks like this. There we go. And I can just take that up and make that, if I wanna make the split screen, I can throw it over here. And then I can take my test feed from StreamYard, which is full screen. And there you go, you get a split screen interview and you're getting some good quality out of it, right? So look at that. So now I move this over here zoom it up a little bit, move it to the side, and there you go. Don't have to pay that extra money, and I've got a full stream that looks pretty high quality on my end, and the guests only compromise a little bit. So there you go. So there you have it. That is the best way, I think, to record your videos using StreamYard. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram, at Lynch on Sports. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel and hit that like button if you enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions, just let me know on social media or let me know in the comments. I'm happy to help. I'm James Lynch. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Heart of the flame, bringing conversations with heavy hitting names. You feel the love of the game.